Hello, this is Daniel from soundheadquarters.com. In today's episode, we are building these windowsill base traps. These are custom sized base traps to fit into this client's windowsill. And these are gonna block out the light and also provide great base trapping in his drum slash control room. I'm gonna show you step by step the whole process of building the frames, insulating them, upholstering them, doing the final trim and handles and having them ready for your home studio. So here's a little sneak peek of the fitment and the final product. And I'm gonna show you step by step how we went about this entire build. And there it is. So let's get into it. So here is the starting room of this client. We are doing a whole bunch of really cool custom work for this build. Uh, stay tuned for all of the other videos that are going to be posted about this job. So you can see he has these really deep window sills and he has two problems that he's trying to eliminate. He wants to have base trapping in this room and he also wants to eliminate some of the noise that comes through from his neighbors uh, through those windows. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out how big these frames need to be. And I'm accounting for variance in the actual opening of the windowsill because there's always variance in any of these homes. Nothing is ever perfect measurement wise. So I wanna make sure I give myself like a good half inch less than what I measure for the final size of the frames. Uh, so you can see we're just screwing these together. I'm using three inch construction screws and I'm using two by two lumber to build these frames and I'm just getting my depth pieces cut to size now. Our final depth ended up being uh, just about 14 inches deep. So I'm cutting these parts to 11 inches to account for the three inches of both pieces of two by two on the front and back face of the frame. So I'm just screwing together basically just a rectangular prism that's gonna make the framing for this base trap here. So just making sure that I'm screwing everything together and that I'm pre-drilling so that the wood does not split. And you can test fit this uh, to make sure that it fits nicely inside the window opening. And you can see we have a nice snug fit there. And especially once the fabric is on, then it's going to be perfect fit. It's gonna slide in easier as well. And I'm just accounting for the trim that's gonna go on top of the fabric to hide the staples to match the rest of the trim we're doing on the acoustic walls, uh, which you can check out that video on our channel as well. So I'm just using a scrap piece of trim here to give myself a little barrier on the inside of the frame to put our rigid insulation. So these base trap frames are going to be filled with a softer acoustic insulation. We are using Rockwool Safe and Sound for the interior portions of the base trap. And for the face of the base trap, we are using Rockwool Comfort Board 80, which is their rigid acoustic insulation. Now, based on where you're at in the world, your acoustic insulation choices will be different. Here in Ontario, Canada, Rockwool is the commonly available product at all of our hardware stores here. So we use uh, Rockwool products for, uh, for our builds. I'm just going ahead and getting the first layer of upholstery on. This is for the back side of the panel. And I'm just using a just a standard black uh, polyester here. And we're using the same orange we used for the acoustic walls on the sides of these frames. I'm just stapling, stapling them on there and cutting it to size once it's stapled. And then the front face of these base traps is going to be green. Um, this was the color scheme that the client chose, black, orange, and green. And here is the insulation that we're going to be using. So before we insulate that front face, we're gonna get all of the insulation inside these traps. So the first insulation that's gonna go in is our softer insulation. This is the Rockwell Safe and Sound. It comes in 24 inch by 48 inch, three inches thick. We're doing three layers and just cutting it to size to fit in. And now for the front face, we're using the Rockwell Comfort Board 80. And you can see I'm getting that cut to size and you can see how it rests on those little pieces uh, that we nailed into the frame there. So that way if you push on the base trap, that insulation isn't going to pop inside the frame. It's gonna stay exactly on the front face right behind the fabric. So we're just going ahead and getting that green fabric cut to size and stapled on. I'm just using light tension on all four corners as I go around to make sure that the fabric is laying nice and flat and there's no wrinkles or anything. You certainly don't need to pull on this super hard or anything. You just wanna make sure that the fabric is laying nice and flat and that you have enough staples to secure it to the frame. 
Now I'm going ahead and trimming the front face of the bass trap so that it matches the trim on the acoustic walls. You can check out that video on our channel, how we did that whole acoustic wall setup step by step. Uh, so we're using the same casing. This is two and a half inch wide by half inch thick casing. And I'm just doing butt joints. I didn't bother doing any miter joints because when this panel goes in and out, there may be some flex. I don't want those miter joints to open up. And we used butt joints on the acoustic wall as well. So I just wanted to make sure that it matched um, going around the room there. So now I'm just using wood filler to fill up all of the nail holes. I used an 18 gauge brad nailer to nail this trim down to the, to the wooden frame. And I can just sand down the wood filler once it's dry and now it's ready for paint. I'm using a foam roller because it leaves a nice texture. And I'm using this trim and door paint that has an enamel in it just to make it more durable. And it's gonna match the paint that's on this client's baseboards and door that's already existing. So I'm just using the roller to roll it on, being very careful that I do not drip any paint onto the fabric face. You may want to cover your fabric in plastic or in tape uh, before you do this step. And we ended up doing three coats of paint onto this trim to give us a nice solid look. And then here is the hardware handles that are going on to the frame to make it easy for the client to slide these base traps in and out of his windowsill. So his plan is to leave them in while he is mixing and recording and take them out if he is if he wants to maybe set up a little area to mic a guitar cabinet or um, to better isolate his drums or bass drum or whatever his recording needs are for that day. We wanted to make sure that these are easily removable and so that he has access to the natural light into the windows as well in his basement studio. Last step is to cover up the staple marks on the side. I'm using Gorilla Tape. This tape is extremely strong. It sticks to the fabric very well. And this just provides, just it's just a nice detail touch to cover up any exposed staples and make sure that the fabric lays nice and flat on those side edges. So now you can see, we can slide these frames right into those windowsill openings. And you can see it's a perfect fit. We want to have like a quarter inch on all sides just to account for any variance in the opening of the frame and so that they can slide in and out way easier. And there you can see that final one going in there and how that casing matches up with the trim on the acoustic walls that we did. And super nice fit. The client was beyond happy with how these turned out. This was one of the most important parts of the build here that we got this part right. Uh, this is the front wall that you see as soon as you walk into the studio. So it was very important for us to have perfect fit and finish on these windowsill base traps. Turned out super cool. Here is some final glamour shots for you guys to check out. Please stay tuned for all of the other cool stuff we are building for this studio. We did the acoustic fabric walls, which should already be up on the channel. We're going to be building some freestanding baffles for him to record drums with. And we are doing a mixed position cloud. We're doing a few more panels. We're doing some other cool stuff to really complete this home studio build. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Daniel from soundheadquarters.com. Please check out the website. Please check out the rest of the channel. Like, share, subscribe, all of that great stuff. I really appreciate all of the support. We've got so much cool stuff planned for this year. Thank you. This has been Daniel from Sound Headquarters. Peace out.